Welcome back to Bible Short Stories. Have you ever wondered if the apostles of Jesus had families of their own? Did they balance their sacred mission with the responsibilities of marriage and parenthood? Today, we're diving deep into the lives of Jesus' 12 apostles to uncover the truth about their personal lives. We'll count down from 12 to 1, revealing surprising details about each apostle. Stick around to the end, you won't believe who had a family. Don't forget to comment Amen if you believe in Jesus Christ. Let's get started. Number one is going to shock you. Starting with Judas Iscariot, the infamous betrayer of Jesus. The Bible focuses heavily on his betrayal and tragic end, but what about his personal life? There's no biblical or historical evidence suggesting that Judas had a wife or children. His story is a cautionary tale about the dangers of greed and betrayal. Judas's most significant act was his betrayal of Jesus for 30 pieces of silver, leading to Jesus' arrest and crucifixion, Matthew 26, 14 to 16. Next up is Simon the Zealot, known for his passionate adherence to Jewish law. You won't find much about Simon's personal life in the Bible, and historical sources are silent on whether he had a family. His life was so dedicated to his cause and following Jesus that any details about a wife or children remain unknown. Simon's importance lies in his representation of the Zealots, a group fervently opposed to Roman rule, highlighting the diverse backgrounds of Jesus' followers. Thaddeus, also known as Jude, is another apostle shrouded in mystery. While the Bible tells us about his apostolic work, it doesn't mention a wife or children. Some traditions hint that he traveled extensively to spread the gospel, suggesting that he might not have had a stable family life. Imagine being constantly on the move for your mission, hardly any time to settle down. Thaddeus is best known for asking Jesus at the Last Supper why he would reveal himself to them and not to the world, John 14:22. James the Less, the son of Alphaeus, is often overshadowed by the other James. The Bible doesn't tell us if he had a family, and historical sources don't fill in the gaps. James the Less dedicated his life to his ministry, with his personal details remaining in the background. Sometimes, you can be so focused on your mission that personal details are just a blur. James the Less is significant for being a quiet yet steady presence among the apostles, often associated with early church leadership in Jerusalem. Bartholomew, also known as Nathaniel, was known for his missionary journeys. The Bible doesn't provide specifics on his family life, but tradition suggests he traveled extensively, even to places like India. Can you imagine leaving everything behind for such a mission? It's likely Bartholomew didn't have a family, focusing entirely on spreading the gospel, his most significant moment in the Bible is his declaration of faith upon meeting Jesus, saying, Rabbi, you are the Son of God, you are the King of Israel, John 1.49. Thomas, famous for doubting Jesus' resurrection, has a mysterious personal life. There's no mention in the Bible of a wife or children. Early Christian writings, such as the Acts of Thomas, depict him as a missionary in far-off lands. His commitment to spreading Christianity might have left little room for a family. Thomas's most significant act was his initial doubt and subsequent proclamation of faith, my Lord and my God, upon seeing the resurrected Jesus, John 20, 28. Matthew, the former tax collector, turned his life around dramatically to follow Jesus. The Bible doesn't mention his marital status and historical records are vague. Some sources, like Clement of Alexandria, don't provide details on his family. Imagine leaving a lucrative job to follow a new calling. Matthew's focus was clearly on his spiritual journey. Matthew's most significant contribution is writing the Gospel of Matthew, emphasizing Jesus as the Messiah and fulfilling Old Testament prophecies. James the Greater, brother of John, had a close relationship with Jesus. The Bible is silent on his personal life, and early church traditions focus more on his martyrdom. There's no record of a wife or children, 
which isn't surprising given his dedication and ultimate sacrifice for his faith. James the Greater's significance is highlighted by being part of Jesus' inner circle and his martyrdom by Herod Agrippa the Firm, making him the first apostle to be martyred, Act 12-2. Andrew, Peter's brother, is known for bringing people to Jesus. Like many of the apostles, the Bible doesn't mention his family. Historical traditions suggest he traveled widely as a missionary. His focus was on his calling, leaving little evidence of a wife or children. Andrew's most significant act was introducing his brother Peter to Jesus, demonstrating his role as a connector and facilitator in the early church. John 1 40, 42. John, the beloved disciple, is traditionally seen as celibate. The Bible doesn't mention a wife or children, and early church writings support his dedication to his ministry. John wrote the Gospel of John and Revelation, highlighting his deep spiritual insights rather than a personal family life. John's most significant contributions include his writings, the Gospel of John, the three epistles of John, and Revelation, offering profound theological insights into Jesus' divinity and love. Philip is mentioned in the Bible several times, but not much about his family life. Historical sources, like those from Clement of Alexandria, suggest Philip had daughters who prophesied. Imagine having children who were also deeply involved in your faith community. It seems Philip balanced his apostolic work with a family life. Philip's significant moment in the Bible is his interaction with the Ethiopian eunuch, leading to the eunuch's conversion and baptism. Acts 8, 26, 40. Finally, Peter, also known as Simon, had the most documented family life among the apostles. The Bible explicitly mentions Peter's mother-in-law in Matthew 8, 14, indicating he was married. Church traditions also suggest Peter had children, balancing family responsibilities with being the rock of the church. Peter's life was indeed multifaceted. Peter's most significant act was his leadership role in the early church and his powerful sermon at Pentecost, which led to the conversion of thousands, Acts 2, 14 to 41. So, did Jesus' apostles have wives and children? For some, like Peter and Philip, the answer is yes. For others, their lives were so dedicated to their ministry that details about their personal lives remain unknown. Whether single or married, these apostles played crucial roles in the spread of Christianity and the establishment of the early church. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel for more intriguing insights into biblical history. Comment Amen if you found this video enlightening. Bible Short Stories, signing off.